To other news now, Barnaby Joyce has launched into a third day of campaigning to win back his seat in Parliament. But debate still rages over the legality of his last three months there. Labor's convinced the government could be open to legal challenge against dozens of decisions the former Deputy Prime Minister made. Mr Joyce is having none of it. His sights are set firmly on his seat and a challenger approaching from the West. Here's National Affairs correspondent Greg Jennett. He wants to change the world. So Ian Britz is looking for a New England. I think someone actually referred to me as a blow-in, and I think that's fair. The former state Liberals breezing across 4,000 kilometres of the Nullarbor Plain, at least four days at the wheel. Well, we're on our way. For an audacious tilt at a seat he's never lived in and an opponent he doesn't rate. If I win, it'll be the biggest news since the dismissal. <laughs> and you know what? Um, he deserves to get beaten. <laughs> Three days on the constitutional scrap heap, Barnaby Joyce has just over 30 left to fend off his challenges. For the first time in a long time, I can say, I'm unemployed, mate. <laughs> but picking through the legal rubble of his vacancy is an endless occupation for the government's opponents. I think there's a reason why they never revealed the Solicitor General's advice. I, I don't believe for a minute it was as strong as they were claiming. The advice was the basis for the government letting Mr Joyce stay on as Minister since August. OK, that, that's advice. Anyone advice is purely advice and the High Court had a different decision. Even so, the attorney maintains no cloud hangs over votes or decisions made. I think you'll find there are no legal consequences here at all, George Brandis asserts. Proud of what we have achieved. The government's relying on Barnaby Joyce's decisions in this parliament being as off limits to challenge as votes he cast in the previous eight years of his illegitimate career including his crucial support for $8 billion worth of Telstra privatisation. Barnaby Joyce's years of living constitutionally dangerously are over. Labor's trying to prolong the consequences for as long as it can. But any legal challenge to his recent ministerial decisions would take a motivated and well-funded litigant. And so far, none has stepped forward. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Canberra.